Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with your Windows 10 webcam and it says that the camera is not working followed by an error code and generally this error code will usually be 0XA00F4244. No cameras are attached. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu and select the setting gear icon on the left side where you hover over it says settings. So go ahead and just left click on that. Select the privacy tile. And then on the right side underneath app permissions, go ahead and select the camera. You want to make sure it says allow apps to access your camera is toggled to the on position. So if for some reason it is turned off, you want to go ahead and turn it on. And you can also scroll down and change which apps have access to that. So if you want to be more specific, you're welcome to. So definitely something you can go ahead and try out. Another thing you can do if you're still having a problem here would be to close out of here. And then you would open up the start menu and type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and just open that up. And in here, you want to look for something that says imaging devices or camera perhaps, but you probably would say imaging devices. I don't have one in here. But if you did, you want to go double click on it and you just right click on it and select update driver. Again, it would be imaging devices or camera perhaps. And then you just would search automatically for driver updates. You can also go online if you have an external webcam and see if there's any driver updates available by just by Googling drivers for and then just entering whatever your webcam is. And most hardware developers have an automatic tool that will just download and install for you. This is more the manual way here. And you can also search for update drivers on Windows Update here too. But just giving you guys a few different options there. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.